function. The chlorophyll A fluorometer emits blue light into the water sample, which is absorbed by the chlorophyll A in the algae. The chlorophyll A fluoresces red light in return, which is detected by the sensor. Monitoring in vivo, that is, an active biological condition, is subject to a great deal of variability. The fluorescent properties of an algal population in a body of water can change with the health of the algae, temperature, and even the time of day. This makes in vivo measurements more useful for trending than for exact quantitative values. The chlorophyll A fluorescence from the sample can be reported as a scaled voltage from 0 to 5 volts or as a concentration from 0 to 500 micrograms per liter. Maintenance The only maintenance required for the fluorometers is to keep them clean. As optical sensors, it is very important to give them a clear field of view into the water sample. Before and after each deployment, use a soft brush and mild soap to remove dirt and debris from all of the sensors. Do not use organic solvents such as methanol or acetone to clean the sensor. These chemicals will damage the plastic components of the sensor. Calibration since there is no primary standard available for chlorophyll A, the calibration process requires a sample value to be recorded, then an extraction performed to find the true value. When the true value of the sample is known, there are two methods of calibrating the sensor, with a solid standard and without. Establish a connection to the sonde with Hydra's 3LT. Click the button labeled Operate Sond. When the sond finishes its initialization, click the Calibration tab. Then click the Chlorophyll Micrograms per Liter tab. You'll see a picture of the fluorometer, as well as the current value, the date and time, the current temperature, and the voltage reading of the sensor. Begin with a clean and dry sond. Attach the calibration cup and fill it to the threads with sample water that has been filtered of all phytoplankton using a 0.45 micrometer filter or optionally deionized water. Wait for one minute for readings to stabilize. Type zero into the box and click calibrate. A calibration successful message will appear. At this point, Record the voltage reading. Empty the storage cup and rinse the sensors. Dry the sensors and attach the storage cup. Fill the cup to the threads with a fresh sample from the deployment site. Wait one minute for the readings to stabilize. Have an extraction performed on the sample to find the true concentration. When the results of the extraction are known, the chlorophyll A sensor is recalibrated using this value. Type zero into the box labeled chlorophyll micrograms per liter. Type the voltage from the original zero point calibration in the box labeled chlorophyll volts. Click the calibrate button. A calibration successful message will appear. Now type the extracted value into the box labeled chlorophyll micrograms per liter. Type the voltage recorded from the sample before it was extracted in the box labeled chlorophyll volts. Click the calibrate button. A calibration successful message will appear. These concentrations and voltages can be used for future calibrations of this specific chlorophyll A sensor. The chlorophyll A sensor is now calibrated.